How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So there's a recent development in the medical school world that really prompted me to make a video on my thoughts about it, especially someone who's gonna get directly affected by it and possibly one of the first people who's gonna be directly affected by it. And that's USMLE step one exam, moving to pass or fail. So a lot of you guys who follow this channel are applicants or kind of working towards being a medical school applicant. Um, mainly because that's what I've focused my YouTube videos on so far. And so maybe this isn't something you've thought about, but recently the USMLE step one exam has been changed to pass fail. So what that is, uh, I'm sure you guys know what it is. It's the first board exam you take at the end of your second year. It, it's pretty heavy, I believe, on like the biochemistry and kind of all of that stuff. Like not so clinical, but more like all the pathology and whatnot. And so the changing it to pass fail right up to this point it's been a uh, three digit point system i think it's up to like 280 points like it's on a scale of up to 280 points something like that and now it's gonna be pass fail starting january 22nd or january 2022 and that's that's pretty big that's a, that's a pretty big deal i will be part of the first class that takes the new pass or fail exam the uh, USMLE website, which I'll put a link in the description below, stated that uh, this will roll out January uh, 2022. So if I'm starting medical school this year, I'll be done my first year in 2021. I'll be done with my second year in 2022, and that's around the time that I would take my uh, my step one exam. So I'll be I'll be one of the first classes of people affected by this, and as someone who, as of right now, is um, most likely going to a DO school, which I'll post uh, update videos about, you know, all that stuff soon. Uh, I, I'm gonna be one of the people most affected by it. And that's kind of where a lot of the discussion has led to on the whole pass fail thing is the effect it's gonna have on DO students and whatnot. So just to kind of like throw a couple things out there, a lot of the concern is that uh, step one is being a numerical score allowed a lot of people to kind of you know set themselves apart with that exam it's what residency programs looked at um and usmle wants to make it pass fail to reduce a lot of the stresses that uh medical students have to go through when it comes to preparing for that exam so rather than you know spending all this time stressing for studying to get a very high score it's more like you know you pass it as like a competent competency and then you know you'll move on past it. And so what that does is it puts a lot of residency programs in a situation where they won't be able to look at step one in order to determine, you know, who is gonna be eligible for their program. Cause it used to be like a screening tool, kind of like how the MCAT is for a lot of medical schools. You know, if you don't get, you know, at least this score, then you're just automatically not competitive or even, um, you know, kind of like uh, considered for their program. And so the problem the problem with it becoming pass fail in terms of, you know, DO students or, you know, students in like the Caribbean or international is DO schools are already kind of looked at as like lower rank. There's a lot more MD uh, residencies and that's kind of the exam that students would use to put each other on like a level playing ground. And I've already thought a lot about step one, just like pretty much the moment I got accepted into medical school, I was like, okay, now I have to do well in step one and make sure I get a good residency one day, like four years from now. And as someone who's um, most likely going to a DO school, I, you know, spent a lot of time thinking, okay, you know, even though it's DO school, which I'm more, you know, I'm more than happy with, um, I have to make sure I do well on that exam to set myself apart. And so now, now we don't get that. And I, I'm not really that biased. I don't know if it's going to be a good thing. We can't sit here right now and say this is like the worst thing ever. And we can't also, we also can't say that this is the best thing ever. Um, I'm really hoping that this will kind of help prompt a more well-rounded application for residencies um, that will allow students to be looked at more, you know, as a whole rather than a number on an exam. Cause you know, that, that is kind of stressful. I can see that. I can see why that's stressful. Um, and that's something I stressed about for the last few months when it was still numerical and I was kind of already, I, I've already watched so many videos on like, you know, prepping for that exam and whatnot and kind of like started thinking about what I was going to do. And part of me, part of me is like, well, that's, that's kind of nice that rather than spending hundreds and hundreds of hours and months and months studying for this exam that I'm just going to get a number, you know, on, and that's, what's going to determine my career as a physician. 
it's nice that maybe maybe we'll get to spend that time doing other things that will make us better applicants for residency programs. Maybe spending more time, um, you know, working in some research or doing certain uh, extracurricular activities in the medical school and in the community in the field that'll help make you more competitive. But that that only works if as residency programs are planning on using that as a screening tool, you know, a more rounded application. Step two is still, as of right now, pass, um, you know, uh, scored. It's still a three digit score, I believe. And I know there's discussion about talk, uh, talking about making it pass fail as well eventually, but I don't think that's going to come anytime soon. I think they're going to first see how step one goes. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll keep on keeping an eye on that and see and see if there's any updates. This, th this has raised a lot of concern. Again, I'm optimistic. I'm hoping it's a good thing. I'm hoping that it doesn't, you know, shoot any of us in the foot, uh, especially as a future DO student. Um, I'm definitely gonna, you know, I'm gonna just keep working as hard as I can in medical school. I'm not gonna stop just because it's pass fail. I'm gonna work on everything about myself that's gonna make me a good doctor. And wherever I end up, I'm hoping it reflects that. I'm hoping the schools help their students in other ways that they know will help them score better, better residencies. A lot of the concerns are coming about, um, you know, a lot of these top tier MD schools that already have all these good connections. And then they're, you know, with their students not having to worry about, a, you know, a uh, score, they're pretty much like just shoe-ins for these residency programs that other schools students might have been competitive for because they were able to get scores that were putting them on even playing fields. And I, I totally understand that concern. Um, I'm also concerned about that, right? You know, because everyone plans on doing as well as they can on step one. I'm optimistic though, again, you know, a lot of when I when I went in and this is kind of my own bias, you know, when I went in, I was already, you know, a little bit lower GPA to start with in undergrad. Um, and I knew I had to work a little bit hard. And I was just happy to get into any medical school one day. And so for me, I'm like, you know, I'm just going to keep keep working that hard. And I'm going to just keep, you know, as long as I get to become a doctor and I get to be in a program that I that I enjoy and, a, you know, specialty that I really, really like, you know, I'm going to be happy. But it is, it is a little bit, you know, daunting to be part of this kind of like guinea pig round. Um, but I'm optimistic. I think, you know, it could be a good thing. We can't sit here right now and say, this is a bad thing. This is the worst thing ever. Why are they doing this? We don't really know how bad or good it's going to turn out. The idea of it being less stressful to study for step one, it sounds great right now. It, it really does. Um, but I'm really hoping again, that there's a lot of efforts that get made towards helping students become competitive for residencies in other criteria rather than just this exam. Um, so those are my thoughts on it. I'm gonna post like some links in the comments section so you guys could also do a little bit of research. And I want you guys to comment, you know, what you think, especially if you're not even, if you're not in medical school yet, just based off where you're coming from right now, like, you know, how does this affect you? Um, if you're also in a DO track, uh, how is this gonna affect you? And if you're an MD track, give your thoughts on it as well. Uh, yeah, so just let me know what you guys think. Uh, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.